It's Friday, April 14. Gonna do a little walk around the garden, show what's going on. Most of the currants are flowering. Here's a gooseberry flowering. Over here is a red currant flowering as well. Scared off a bee. The flowers aren't very showy, but they're pretty once you get close up and look at them. Here's a pawpaw leafing out. A lot of the pawpaws in this, another pawpaw there, um, are quite small. Some then king cherries. In the middle here is a beech plum flowering. Didn't get much fruit off this last year, but I'm hoping this year I will. And king, this is a carmine jewel bush cherry, which it's been in the ground f at least four years, maybe five. And this is the first year it's flowered, strangely. And it only flowered like right at the tips of the branches, but it's like to get some fruit off that, hopefully. I think it's self-fertile. Got an American hazelnut there. Um, black cohosh coming up to the left of the uh, hazelnut. Current over there. Elderberry on the right. This is another beech plum, a little farther behind its friend, but about to flower. Sorry, I suck at filming. Here's an aronia that is just now flowering. Let me loop down low here. This patch was originally intended to be strawberries, but it's kind of morphed. Got some Egyptian walking on you, definitely some strawberries. Lots of Creeping Charlie, and there's a current I plopped in. A bunch of blackberry cuttings, none of which took, which is fine. Just as I was pruning blackberries, I stuck them in here. Learned that that doesn't work very well. Um, put an American hazelnut kind of at the tip of this point, which is next to another American hazelnut friend. And then three filberts here. This is a Cornelian cherry in its second year, looking pretty good. Uh, a bunch of cane fruits in here, some black cherry, sorry, black raspberry, um, blackberries, marionberry, all small, just planted a couple new ones in, in this area. A fig I started from a cutting over the winter. Elderberry, honeyberry over there. Let me peek at the greenhouse briefly. I just took the plastic off. Uh, not a whole lot going on, but I've got a bunch of Seed started, some potato, this is Chinese artichoke, a mulberry cutting that's probably not gonna take. And some seeds that are doing well, let me loop around. Got some cucumbers. This is a tray of tomatoes, some brassica stuff, cilantro, uh, some peas, another potato. I think this tray is all, maybe not all, but the far end are peppers maybe, maybe the near end as well. Bunch of stuff in pots here. Two Prunus Americana. And then two, the left guy and that guy are Prunus Angustifolia, Chickasaw Plum. One of those two is not, has not come to life yet. It's a Juneberry flowering. They're quite pretty when they flower. Definitely sort of uneven growth pattern. He's had a rough go, but maybe Maybe we'll bounce back starting this year. Gummies are probably wrapping up flowering. Still, still flowering. They're beautiful flowers and they smell amazing. I, I love, I've got a section with like three gummies side by side, but yeah, they look and smell amazing. Honeyberry, these guys have been flowering. You can already see fruits developing on this honeyberry. Actually tons, man, look at that guy. Um, yeah, honeyberries start flowering in like January sometimes depending on the variety. Uh, sour cherry, this is a Montmorency. Looking pretty good. Another Cornelian cherry. Uh, comfrey flowering now. Just, just starting to. Bees quite like that. Bunch of bee balm. Um, another Gumi. It's like a volunteer black cherry, I think. Bunch of Echinacea and bee balm, kind of where all those flags are. I've got wildflowers sown into the swales here. It's been crazy dry though. We haven't gotten rain in like nine days and it's been really hot. Um, but I think the wildflowers are hanging in there. Let me go high here. These are Chinese chestnuts. Just starting to leaf out. 
planted a couple new things here. I've got some Udo, uh, Aurelia Cordata, and Virginia Bluebell, a bunch of wine berries. June berry here, looking pretty good. Uh, my, this is a jujube honey jar, leafing out, looking pretty good. Uh, Pawpaw Hansen's bush cherry, smells amazing. I think so. Yeah, it smells really good. Huh, I didn't realize that one smelled so nice. Gumi, another jujube, that one is sugar cane, not doing quite as well. Current flowering, pretty much everything here is flowering, it's crazy. I, mean, I guess that's how spring works. Here's a Juneberry past flowering. Sorry, I suck at filming again. Starting to develop fruits. This is a Ribes Americanum, an American blackcurrant. Autumn olive, amber autumn olive. Flowers are gorgeous on that as well. Let's see if I can get closer. You got beautiful flowers and they smell really nice. Asparagus in this bed starting to pop up. I think I kind of like over, slightly over mulched this stuff. I don't know, I think the asparagus is gonna pop through fine, but maybe because it's been so dry, they're a little slow to emerge. Various like, is this bee balm again? Maybe, I think so. Gumi, uh, I've got potatoes in this bed and they're starting to pop up. Three persimmons, I believe this one is a hybrid Asian American, I think it's Rosiyanka. I just labeled stuff physically for the first time this year. American persimmon, American persimmon. Uh, and that's another American persimmon. Three red Nankings that flowered super early. I bet that guy's like, the fruits will be ready in like, well, I don't know, I was, I was gonna say like two weeks, three weeks, but maybe a little longer, but yeah, he's quite far along. Amber autumn olive again. Look at that butterfly up on, on there. Yeah, this guy smells maybe better than Gumi. Smells quite nice, yeah. I pruned this back a ton too, but doing really well. Nothing yet in this raised bed. Probably put tomatoes and cucumbers eventually. Honeyberry. Here are the current. I don't offhand. Maybe a black currant. This is definitely a gooseberry. Again, flowering. Really pretty red currant, possibly. Red or pink or something. Um, I should know. I, know. I don't notice current flowers very often. That's probably a... I don't even know. Beautiful flowers, though. Jostaberry, I'm guessing. Another red. Red Lake, I believe, is that one. Blackberries in here. Currants bursting to life. I love currants, like once they get going, they go from being a little twiggy thing to just a massive bush. Uh, blueberries flowering. Got five recently planted, five here and three on the swale that are quite small, and then six big guys in the back. Gumi. This is where I've got three close by, so you can really appreciate the fragrance when you're like standing here. Um, two Hansen's bush cherries that are not looking great. I meant to pull that one out over the winter and didn't. An aronia. Um, then here's one, two, three blueberries. The f either fox or raccoon keeps digging up around that guy, so he's sort of struggling. I put some new red raspberries. A couple there, but there are red raspberries popping up all in this swale. You can see, it's kind of hard to spot from a distance, but like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, they, it was like two that have propagated themselves quite well. Here are the blueberry flowers, gorgeous. Some daylilies on the ground here that I probably shouldn't have planted. Let me keep rolling. Here's the European pear, big European pear, and then two more that are done flowering, but they, I'm thinking we're gonna get lots of fruit off those. Gumi and King. My Che Lone Seedless Che tree here on 
what's the rootstock? Maclura, I forget the common name. A uh, bunch of Nankings in here, which I thought about digging up and giving away, but here they are. An apple tree, Gumi behind, another apple farther behind. This guy is, I think, a sour cherry, and it's flowering better than it has in a long while. Uh, dogwood behind it. Here's, this is a uh, Macintosh apple, beautiful flowers. I know there's a tag on it. I definitely labeled this one, yeah, Macintosh. Uh, Honeycrisp and Royal Gala. And I could have sworn this guy had died, but definitely not. Looking okay. A uh, bunch of blackberries that I did a fairly good job of wrangling over the winter. They're kind of where they should be. Male hardy kiwi already growing quite quickly. I need to set up some better supports. And then two female hardy kiwi. And again, I need to kind of help it, help it go up, but that's looking very healthy and happy. Going across there, I, I really hope we get kiwi fruit this year. Looks beautiful. Blackberries, this is a Ravada red currant, I believe. Asian pear, just about done flowering. We've had some windy days that have kind of blown all the petals off. But yeah, Asian pears are done flowering. Another Asian, Asian. Man, they're getting tall. Uh, and here I had a bunch of Welsh onion and American groundnut, but the grasses have... I think the American groundnut will come up in a bit. It's just too early. And oh, here are the Welsh onions. So I guess they're they're hanging. Yeah, they're doing all right. Uh, sorry, I had Scarlet Runner beans there and then American groundnut here. And I'm optimistic. I think that will pop back up just a little too soon. Um, in this bed I planted a couple, a new European pear there and down low. This is a Girardi dwarf mulberry which I planted last fall and it produced one round of fruit in like November. You can see it flowering. Mulberry flowers are a little funky but I think that's them. So Definitely going to get mulberry fruit. Another dwarf ever, ever bearing mulberry that is not looking great, but I think it's alive. We'll see. Another European pear, the real skinny guy over there. Coming this way. In this little funky thing, I've got some red raspberries up front. There's one coming up in the walkway over there. A bunch of red raspberries. Five honeyberries. Uh, like this guy's doing great, this guy not so much. But yeah, honeyberry, some Egyptian walking onion that are getting pretty well established, doing well. It's definitely taking time for them to take off. Oh, this fig's coming coming out already. This is a brown turkey fig, which I pruned back a ton so I could cover it when we got like a nine degree deal. We'll see how much of it comes back to life. Here's this uh, amber autumn olive again. Crazy beautiful flowers. That's awesome. Uh, bunch of currants in this patch or various ribes guys. Some strawberries. I planted some new jujubes. There's a lang. I think I have a lee tiny little guys. This one is Lee, and then I have a GA-866, which I assume is Georgia. Goji berry, another goji over there, and a third behind me. On the trellis here are muscadine grapes, all doing pretty well. This is the goji. I put some other vaccinium guys. They're freaking tiny and, and Basically dead, but uh, I'll spot one in a sec. Like lingonberry, where's he at? 
see that's that's the problem here we go here's one of them one lingonberry it's been so dry but I think I'll do all right eventually once it once we get some rain a bunch of honeyberries through here that are long past flowering but I can already see lots of fruits um that's kind of it up top here so yeah a lot a lot going on I I'm, again, sucking at the annual vegetable gardening portion of this whole experiment. It's just a lot to, to keep up with the annuals and keep alive all the things. Even, even in a year when I haven't planted a ton of new stuff, it's a lot to water and tend to the perennials, let alone the annuals. This, these bamboo deals for the peas have blown over three times. And every time I've tried to like tension them in place a little better, but they're, yeah, a strong wind. So yeah, I've wasted time having to rebuild and redo various things. And the fox and the raccoon are always in here digging up. You know, they, they see me plant something and are curious, I guess, to, you know, they think a critter dug the hole and they want to get down to the bottom of it. And you know, I've got some onions here that some... Some critter dug all those up. Here's my little fish pond, which I've reinforced to keep the fox and the raccoon out. And I've got a game camera there filming. Let me get in here, show the fish. Whoa. So there's a, there's a yellow guy and two black guys. There were like 11, and some critter had a nice meal. Some of these are garlic chives, the, the thicker ones, not that, that's grass. Anyway, maybe like 60% grass. This is all garlic chives. All right, I think that's it. So a lot, a lot going on, a lot, of, a lot of success in the perennial department, but I don't even know how to stay on top of or prevent all these all these plants from shooting up without the obvious approaches like black plastic and chemicals, which neither appeal to me. Um, I mean, when it's super dry like this though, the weeds are sort of nice in that they protect the soil from direct sunlight and retain moisture better. So it's not a horrible thing. Um, but yeah, if you plant something, it, unless it takes off quickly, it gets swallowed up quickly. Okay, that's all. Bye.